All right, up to this point, we've taken a look at some basic volumes, and we've taken a look at blocking volumes. Very simplistic volumes. But now what we'd like to do is go ahead and expand our knowledge into some more advanced type volumes, actually into what is known as physics volumes. And we'll be using physics volumes to pull off pretty much everything else that we're going to be doing through this VTM, such as creating water and slime and lava. We'll do a ladder with it. We're looking at controlling gravity with different types of gravity effects, uh, playing with terminal velocity. There's a lot of different things that we can do with physics volumes. And Logan, real quick, go ahead and select the blocking volume that you got right there and open the properties back up real quick. So right now, all we've got is just this one volume section right here with just a, you know, a small handful of properties in there that we can adjust. Now, where the builder brush is at the moment, Logan, go ahead and create a physics volume there. And let's take a look at the difference. So one of the volumes we have is, of course, physics volume. Just a basic physics volume. So after I create that and move the builder out of the way, I can open up this physics volume properties and check out some of the new stuff we get. We get physics volume and volume fog. Ah. So if I expand physics volume, well, okay, well, there's a lot of stuff to tweak. <laughs> now we have a lot more stuff that we can play with. I mean, we can say that if neutral zone, a no inventory, if it's going to cause pain or not, if it's a water volume or not, which is pretty important if you're going to deal with things like uh, an entry sound, an exit sound. I mean, there's just so many different parameters that we can adjust right here for, you know, affecting what happens when you enter, when you exit, and what happens while you're in it. So definitely cool. And then, of course, we've got the volume fog as well with several different parameters in there that we can so look at. So basically the effect that this will give you is distance fog, but only when you're inside the given volume. That's right. So that's just a quick intro into physics volumes. Now what we're going to do is take a look at some of the different things that we can create with them. And we'll start out real simple with the next lesson being some basic gravity effects. So let's get started.